So tonight I watched another movie, uh, one that I've been meaning to watch since I was in grad school because one of my, um, my basically my mentor, uh, head of the screenwriting department, really great guy, um, he, some screenplay that I was working on that's not anything that I ever ended up finishing, but it was some idea that I had. I have a notebook, like, full of ideas for screenplays that I never wrote. Um, maybe someday I'll pull that out and write a, you know, blockbuster. I don't know. But anyways, one of the screenplay ideas that I had um, reminded him of this film, and so he said I should watch it. Unfortunately, I was unable to uh, find it at the time. Like, I don't think it was available to rent online. And even though I was in San Francisco, I was I didn't figure out how to get my butt down to the one rental store in all of San Francisco. So the film never got watched. Um, and thankfully, as part of TCM's um, Star of the Month tribute to Natalie Wood, they finally showed this movie, this movie being Bob and Carol and Ted and Alice, which was written and directed by Paul Mazursky. Um, Paul Mazursky co-wrote it with Larry Tucker, who also produced the film. It was one of the biggest grossing films of 1969. It's very um, late 60s, sort of basically like what happens when free love trickles down to um, the bourgeoisie. What happens? Chaos ensues. Um, it also sort of, it's one of those films that, um, it's very satirical and it's very much showing how shallow a lot of this is. This this thought that you're really all about your feelings, but it's also very shallow um, in that you're doing what you what you feel, but and that doesn't necessarily mean that what you're doing is um, thoughtful. And I guess that's the whole point is that you're going with your feelings instead of what you're thinking, but your feelings aren't necessarily helpful to other people's feelings because humans are, are um, basically very selfish creatures. And the reason that we have feeling and thought is that we have these feelings, but then we think, what will this feeling do to other people? And if it's not going to harm them, then let's keep doing it. And if it is going to harm them, maybe we don't do that. And that's a good thing. And I think the film shows what happens when you um, take that thought away and just do the feelings and how actually it's quite damaging. Um, so it's, it's, it's interesting. Uh, it's interesting for, as social satire. It's interesting as a breakdown of free love. And it's interesting... Um, look at married couple friends and what that dynamic can really be like. Uh, the married couple, Bob, Carol, Ted, and Alice are played by Robert Culp, Natalie Wood, Elliot Gould, and Diane Cannon. Elliot Gould and Diane Cannon both received Oscar nominations for their performances, as did Tucker and Mazursky for their screenplay, and the cinematographer Charles Ling. Um, it did not win anything. But like I said, it was a highly, highly uh, high box office film. Um, and it was Mazursky, after working in TV as a writer for, for the most of the 60s, this was Mazursky's first film as a director. And then he went off and made all kinds of great films in the 70s, most of which I still haven't seen. Um, but I've seen Harry and Tonto, which is so good. It's a guy going on a road trip with a cat to the beach. That's all you need to know. Like, if that doesn't sell it to you, um, it's an orange cat. Let's Does, does that make it sell it to you? Because if you don't want to see an, an old man going on a road trip with an orange cat to the beach, I don't know what to tell you. Um, it's a great film, is what I'm saying. Uh, he also obviously did An Unmarried Woman, which is one of my all-time favorite films and contains what I think is probably the best performance from the 70s, period, from anybody that would be Jill Clayburgh in An Unmarried Woman. I'll fight you over that. Um, anyways, uh, <laughs> this is a mic drop. Um, and then he also did, I see every life I was looking at his but he also did uh, Moon Over Parador, which is why I love Sonia Braga so much, because she's so good in that. Um, it's, I'm afraid to rewatch it now, because the plot, I'm reading the plot, and Richard Dreyfuss basically does, like, brown face, and it's probably not as good as I remembered. It's it's a, a lampoon of, of um, 
all of the like coups that were happening in the seventies um, in Latin America, but with Richard Dreyfus, and I just I liked it as a youth, but I don't know anymore. It's probably not the greatest thing, but Mazursky's great. So, anyways, Bob and T Carol and Ted and Alice. Now you can rent it on streaming services so like from Amazon, etc. Um, or I think it's probably going to be on Watch TCM, um, so you can watch it that way. It's I don't think it's as good of a film as either Harry and Tonto or An Unmarried Woman, but it's definitely um, of its time. And I don't mean that. Sometimes I say that and it's an insult, but I, I mean, I, I don't mean that as an insult in this case. I think this was very like, this is what life was like right then, satirized. And and uh, so it's sort of like cinema as a um, time capsule. Um so it's interesting for as for like anthropological reasons, I think. Um, also, Elliot Gold is really hot in the early late seventies, uh, late sixties, early seventies. He was a hot dude. As was Natalie Wood. Natalie Wood was always hot. Actually, she was. She just she was smoking a hot babe. Um, yeah. So this was. I'm I'm glad I finally saw this. I uh, need to figure out which screenplay it was that I was working on that or screenplay idea that made my uh, mentor think of this film. Um, but definitely for anyone who's interested in, in films about relationships and both marital relationships and friend relationships because it's sort of the line between all of that all mixed together, um, I think you'll enjoy this film. This is 1969's Bob and Carol and Ted and Alice from Paul Mazursky. Have a good night.